Hello everyone. This is Susan from uh, Creative Dimensions. I want to welcome you all here. This is step two on the birdhouse. We've got our paper painted and now we need to stamp it to make it look even more like wood grain. I have my block and a stamp that has lines on it. It's not really a wood grain stamp, but if you've got a wood grain stamp, great, but I don't have one. So this is the closest I'm going to get. So, you get your ink out. I'm using black ink. It's water-based dye. And if I can get it open. stamp up. And we're going to start at the bottom. Off to the edge. Don't go stamp it all the way across. And if it's overlapping, that's fine. I can't tell you where this rubber stamp came from. It was a hand-me-down that my sis brought to me. The block that I'm using is a bow bunny. It came from Tuesday morning. Now the next row, I'm going to stamp in between where these two stamps meet together. So we're staggering it. If it doesn't print out all the way, that that's fine. It just makes it more natural looking. I want to tell you a bit more about that magazine where I discovered the birdhouse. I wanted the birdhouse, but I didn't have balsa wood. I didn't have styrofoam board. And so I decided, well, let's try making it my way. And I kept thinking about it and I thought, balsa wood, even though it's a lightweight wood, it would still make the card kind of very heavy. It wasn't impressed with that idea. So, here we are. So instead of using styrofoam board I thought, I know, I'll use cardboard, a thicker cardboard, which would be about the relatively the same thickness as the styrofoam board. Now, as you're stamping this out, 
and it doesn't come out straight, that's fine. Just continue on until you get to the very bottom. And as you can see, mine didn't come out very straight. I did add some green to this, oops, to this um, part of the chipboard. I wanted to see how it turned out by adding a little green to it. Let's see, we're done with the stamping. Now, one of the other things I did, I wanted to, I've got ink all over my hands again, I wanted to, uh, yeah, got ink on my hands. I wanted to uh, kind of, yeah, I did a good job of getting ink on my hands, to blend out a little bit of these harsh lines after they've been stamped. So what I did is I took my paintbrush with a little bit of water and I went over it lightly. Kind of soften them lines up. I'm probably being a little too picky about this. But I wanted it to look as realistic as I could get it. And if you're seeing that your chipboard is kind of rough when you're painting on it, that's normal and that's okay because then it'll give the look and the feel of wood. And we'll let that dry. I have another piece that I've already started. The next um, piece that you're going to need is some thick cardboard. See how thick that is? And then you're going to need a template of a birdhouse. This one I've already drawn out. I used the same pattern that came out of the magazine and I noticed that it wasn't as uh, straight. Sorry, this is bugging me. I gotta pick it up. <sighs> Can't stand how things knocked into the floor. So, if you don't have a picture or a template of a birdhouse, I'm sure that you could probably find one off the internet. Um, otherwise, I could give the measurements for this one. Um, let's see. I should have measured this out. From top to bottom, it's exactly five inches. From width to width, it's 
it looks like it's four and seven eighths. So there's four, four and a half, and I believe that's seven eighths of an inch wide. Now, this down here. Two and six eighths of an inch. Two and seven eighths for the sides. They should be both be the same, same length. Now, two and seven eighths. This is three and two centimeters. See, that one's completely off. It should be three and two cm, but it's not. And this one here at the top is one inch and two centimeters. Then we're going to take our template. And we're going to put it on top of this cardboard. I wonder if I could squeeze it right out of that. Oh, pretty close. Oh. Trace it out. Then you take an exacto knife and you uh, cut it, cut it out. You take your time cutting it out because this cardboard is so thick. Uh, because I didn't pick a piece of cardboard that's completely flat across that has no bins in it, I took my template and I cut out a piece of cardstock and glued right over the top. Got my exacto knife. 